Welcome to Centre of Wellbeing, Training and Culture. And uh, the whole aim of uh, today is to showcase your work. Okay? Yeah. Not our work, but yeah. your work, what you have been doing yeah. over the past uh, two and a half months, something like that. Yeah. And uh, all that has been possible yeah. with some uh, joint funding that we have received yeah. from NHS, HMR, SIF funding, yeah. Link for Life, yeah. and particularly with this project from Rochdale yeah. Township yeah. to help um, you people to enjoy your time here using yeah. arts yeah. as a medium. As a medium. Yeah, so I'm not going to say a lot about how good we are, but to showcase today how good you are yeah. and the fantastic that you've work that you've done today. Yeah. So I just want to personally thank for everybody, particularly the staff who have made so much effort to bring the groups here. I remember we started off with six and we ended up with about 28 as a group. So that shows that it's your need. What we do here as a service, as a, a community service, we are here for you, for you to come and utilize us. Different kind of different kind of thing. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> How does it make you feel? You make me it makes you feel better. She called plans the clock on the clock, don't tell time. To the college, professor loses my machine Uh, Mr. Sawa for putting on these multicultural art sessions um, for the service users of Gateway. Hey! Often the service users we support um, are very isolated, they're limited hey! with the opportunities that they have and ex um, to experience different sessions that are as enjoyable as these sessions are. Um, some of the service users took part in the art and craft session as you could see in the film. Um, they used a learner-centred approach um, to enable and empower them. The sessions were constructed, were structured to ensure that um, the most was made of each learning opportunity and to support people to develop skills and that they can use in everyday life. The service users learned how to handle and use various arts materials. They explored shape, size, they learned expression through colour and design and produced a sensory a sensory craft at the end of the session. Um, the music sessions were made enjoyable and entertaining by the live music that was played and also by the service users themselves, as you can see today, <laughs> um, for Has being the star of the show. Um, the music played um, helped to share a variety of music and cultural difference for the service users involved. They had an opportunity to build positive relationships, make new friendships and to work towards their aspirations and goals. The self-esteem and confidence was raised during these sessions and the benefit to some of the service users is un unmeasurable. The joy and excitement on their faces was testament to the benefit they had gained from these sessions. Um, we're looking forward to working in partnership with Mr. Sawa and the staff at Multicultural Arts to access more of these educational, social and medium of arts sessions in the future. So thank you for all your support and the funding that Mr. Sawa has received. It's been amazing. Thank you. Good morning, Assalamualaikum. I don't, I don't know what to say, I've just uh, unexpected in the night. Um, I think server's not right. We don't give him money, we give him money to serve you. And from what I witnessed this morning, I think he's serving you very well. And I'm really pleased, and thank you, server. Hello, everybody. And um, lovely to be here again. I've been before and I've seen you dance before. And I was looking forward to your dancing. I really enjoy that. I feel like getting up and doing it with you. Yeah. yeah. 
Right, so um, it's very clear to me that you love coming here. It's very clear to all of us. And I hope these sessions continue so that you can all have a good time. Okay, thank you. Thoroughly enjoyed the video. Bye. Good morning, everyone. If Mohammed Sawa is in charge, it runs beautifully. So I can be quite sure that you've all enjoyed it and it's been extremely worthwhile. NHS, HMR, Social In Investment Fund, because part of our being here is through their funding support, particularly looking at mental health and dementia. Would you like to come and say a few words? Thank you. Hello, everybody. Hiya. Um, like Mohammed said, I'm Lauren from the CCG. Now, it's yeah. really lovely to have been invited today. And I think for me, um, when you sat in Riverside in the big glass box and you get to come out and see things like this and you see what our money pays for, it's absolutely fantastic. So thank you very much. Um, you know, the video and the speeches were, were very effective and very, very useful. And what I really like is, 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 is that uh, people who, who don't use mind are here, people who do use mind, uh, people who care for them, which is a really difficult job, they, they're here um, and, and you get a, a, a very good interaction and a, a much better idea of, 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 what, of why mind needs to exist. Mohammed Sawa, who, who's the organiser of many, many events here, he's, um, he, he's, he's, he's very effective at, at making sure that, that, that the reason you come is, 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 is effective and he's very good at that. I mean, some of the disabilities, are, you know, the only opportunity they get is to come to something like this, where, where they do see dancing, for example, which we had towards the end, uh, and where, they, where they, they hear people talking, and people talk to them rather than about them. So, in, in that sense, it's, I think it works very well. What we've seen today is people that have spent some good sessions doing music and dance movement and sensory activities, just enjoying themselves. It's really good for the soul. It's really good for the body. And these people have been making the most of it. One would hope that they do because the people that are in there have been gathered together on several occasions and they meet different people. Always to, to combat isolation and to make sure that uh, people know that there's things out there for them to do. Of course I would recommend the services. I wouldn't keep returning if I didn't. <laughs> You know, I've been a supporter of this uh, centre for all these years, right from the, when they started. And uh, it's, uh, they are doing a wonderful job. And I think uh, <coughs> uh, Mohammed Server is doing a brilliant job in sort of bringing people together. You could tell from the faces of these young people who come and use the, uh, the centre how happy they were and how involved they were. And I do take um, this... Uh, really very important thing I want to say is for the carers and the, the, the passion and compassion they show to these uh, clients who come here is absolutely wonderful and where else do you find people who are so serving and you know helping people with uh, those needs and when you saw them dancing and talking I think it was absolutely wonderful to see them. <coughs> this kind of work <coughs> is far due for a very long time. I think it sort of should be pushed forward as much as possible so that more people get to know what they're doing here so that the other people can actually take participate in what is going on here. I was in on this at the beginning when we were first talking about, uh, we were in a network, talking about what we could put on for uh, people with dementia and mental health problems. And it's so good to see the end product. Um, hopefully not the end product. Hopefully it, it will go on and these sessions will continue. It was so obvious to everyone in the room that the people who took part uh, in the courses just love coming here and they loved doing what was provided for them and loved participating in it. And it seemed to give a lot of them a great deal of confidence and joy, which was really nice to see. So I think Mohammed um, Sova and his staff are doing a great job here and long may they continue. But we need funding to continue, so uh, we must always try to find something so that they can continue his service to the community. 
So, um, yes, it, it did meet my expectations. When I've been to other groups like this before, they've been mostly white people. And there didn't seem to be services which served this local community. Or they had to go a long way and get the transportation to go to other places. Um, so this really brings in the community. And I think it does more for the participants. Uh, it does well for the participants, but it does more for the people who see this going on in the community. Um, because they come to value it and value the, the participants themselves, which in turn gives them confidence and makes them feel part of the community. So it really works both ways, um, the community becoming more aware of the needs of these people and, and seeing them enjoy themselves and seeing how to stimulate um, them to, to learn more and to be happier. So it's really good for the whole community. Uh, we do appreciate in the council what goes on here and value it um, in all the, the activities that they do. Uh, not just the event for today, but in all the activities. So, um, and it's gone from strength to strength. And um, engaged people and learning new skills or practicing the skills they've got for the sake of the community, that, that's brilliant.